Hello everybody in YouTube land. Today I want to talk about the best kind of soy milk that you can get. First and foremost, soybeans are one of the highest GMO products that is out there. You want to always get organic. If you're not buying organic, then at least you want to get something that's non-GMO verified or non-GMO certified. So you're not getting a genetically modified soy product or soybean. The next thing is you want to look at the ingredients on this stuff. Um, with soy milk, a lot of times they'll put a lot of extra stuff in it. They'll put in flavors, they'll put in carrageenan. Carrageenan is definitely something you want to stay away from. It is a thickener and a kind of like a stabilizer. So when you go to the store, there's going to be a ton of different soy milks and they make all different kinds of stuff. They make chocolate, they make vanilla, they make unflavored, they make sweetened. So when you look at the back, okay, you're going to want to look for something with minimal ingredients. So what I mean by that is, for myself, I don't drink soy milk just straight in a big glass, pour it in a glass and drink it. I use it for cooking or baking or in my smoothies. So I don't need the extra flavor as in they're making it, you know, vanilla or they're putting in the natural flavors of something like that. So I'm looking to get the most basic soy milk that I can get. So what I found, I know I'm not sponsored by this company, it's just something that I buy and the reason I get this is for one is just because I can you know get it where I'm located at I don't know where you're located at or in the States or anything but basically I get it because of this the ingredients in this is filtered water and whole organic soybeans that's it so as you can see it's organic unsweetened and so now it also has non GMO verified but if it's organic then you know, it, it can't be GMO anyway. So I'm talking to 95% of the people out there that are buying soy milk. If you're in the 5% or less than 5% that are making your own soy milk, then obviously, you, you know, you have even more control over what you're putting in. You know, they have a whole list of all the good stuff about it on the back here. It's gluten-free, it's kosher, it's, you know, vegan, of course. Um, organic, non-GMO, verified, no added sweeteners, stuff. So let's say for example, you know, you like this but you want something sweetened. You can always get it and then add, you know, a teaspoon of sugar in and stir it up and now it's sweetened up. So if you like some of the flavors and stuff, um, I'm not saying, you know, that you shouldn't get it but, uh, you know, some of the natural, f natural flavors that they put in, you know, products, Sometimes we don't really know what a natural flavor is. There's, uh, there's a very. I did a whole other video about definitions of you know, um, stuff and natural flavors is, um, <clears throat> you know, could be a, a lot of things. So, for your best, most you know wholesome product, it's something like that. Is it kind of bland flavor? Yes, it's bland. But as I mentioned, I use it in my smoothies, which has other you know ingredients in it, or cooking or baking, which has you know sugar, cinnamon, or whatever different things in it. Stay away from the carrageenan. And the natural flavors, I'd keep that to a minimum if you even want that in there. Like I said, you can always sweeten it up yourself. You can get this if you wanted to make chocolate milk out of it. You get this, throw some cocoa powder in, a little bit of sugar, stir it up or mix it up, and boom, yeah, you know, chocolate soy milk. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helps out a little bit. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll talk with you later. Okay, bye.